Hey guys, welcome back to my channel for another beauty inspired video and welcome to spooky month and welcome to my birthday month. That's right. I am an October baby. More specifically, I am actually a Halloween baby. So this month I am putting out a lot of extra content uh, because it's my birthday, because it's spooky month, because it's fun and we're just going to have fun. So. I've got my spooky background going. Um, and today we're gonna talk about spooky palettes. Now, I just did a fall palette ranking. If you haven't seen that, it'll be linked above, below, you know, somewhere. And I just, and I feel like a lot of those palettes could be brought into this. So I was, I decided to go very much more specific for this, okay? So, I'm only talking to you today about five palettes. That's right, only five. And they are ones that are either supposed to be for Halloween, supposed to be spooky, or they're ones that I definitely, without a doubt, use for spooky month. Okay, so um, I'm going to tell you a little bit about them, why I like them, what I think about them. And I was going to do this as a ranking, but really I could only rank four of the five because one I actually haven't used. So one of them is a bonus I'm gonna talk about that I think is going to be perfect for this time of year. Um, and then one is really, really bad that you should not, probably should not spend your money on. Um, and then the other three are really the only ones that I would be ranking and I just felt like that was kind of boring. So I'm just gonna talk to you about all of these these five, all of these, um, and give you my thoughts and help you decide if you think you should get them for yourself, if they're still available. And if you already have them in your collection, maybe remind you that this would be the perfect time to bring these out. If you enjoy this type of content and if you enjoy hearing from me and if you want to support me in this birthday month of mine, would you consider hitting that subscribe button? And don't forget to like and do all the things. Leave me a comment down below with what your favorite Halloween or spooky month palette is. Okay, so where to start? So I'm just gonna let you know right now that three of these five are Nomad Cosmetics palettes. Yeah, if you've been around here for a minute, were you expecting anything different? So I'm gonna start with the bonus palette, the palette that I have yet to use, but I do think would be really good for this time of year. And that is the Italy one. And this one, first off, like, yes, that's supposed to be like Romeo and Juliet inspired, but it's also very, very spooky to me. What do you think? I think it is. And then when you open it up, like, how does this not scream spooky month to you? So you've got this side with all your darker colors that you could make lots of different looks with. And then you've got this side, which yes, is probably more um, Valentine's inspired, but like also you use these colors for spooky month. So this is the bonus palette I just wanted to talk to you about. I've not used it, so I can't really talk to the quality yet, but it is Nomad Cosmetics. So even for an older formula, I don't think I'm gonna have a problem. I just don't. Okay, but moving into the products I have used, let's talk about my three favorites, the, the, the three that I would absolutely recommend. And then we'll finish with talking about the one that I really don't think you should spend your money on. I really and truly don't. So we're gonna first jump in to one that isn't advertised as spooky month or Halloween, but is definitely one that I have used and will continue to use during this month. And that is from ColourPop. And it is the from the Star Wars line, the Darth Vader Nine Pan Palette. It's dark, it's gloomy, it's cute. Not spooky month, but sure, why not? It's dark. Um, but it's really the color story in here that for me makes this a really, really good spooky month color story because I use a lot of the darker colors as do a lot of you. And I like how this has the perfect amount of mattes to shimmers. And there's even lighter shimmers in here to help give it a little bit of a pop of color. Then you've got this like coppery red 
it's gorgeous like this is a beautiful beautiful palette to use during this time of year you can go super super dark or you can just go a little bit smoky um you can also use this to make a lot of different unique looks and that's something that i really like about this this is not something that you can only make three or four looks with no you can make so many different looks and this time of year is when i bring this in and the formula of this it's really good it is really really good and this palette is pretty inexpensive so that is one that if you don't have this in your collection and you don't have colors like this already I would suggest getting this, but if you do have colors like this already, then, you know, use the colors you already have. And if you feel like you're needing something more, take a look at this one. Okay, the next palette is from Nomad Cosmetics. This is the Ghost Town USA. And the packaging is 100% per spent, 100% per spent, spooky month, ghost town, like, ooh can't get much more spooky than that packaging is adorable um and then the color story like this color story is amazing it's, it's you've got your coppers you've got your browns you've got your greens you've got a little bit of a pink i recently made a new look with this that i hadn't made before in fact it is in i believe a video coming up soon if not already out um and You've got the blues, the greens, just so much you could do with this. And it's so spooky and so, I don't know, just almost like a grungy spook, like a ghost town spook, you would say. Hmm, I wonder why. <laughs> but this one is definitely one that this time of year I use a lot. In fact, I use this almost every time of year, but like this is one it was inspired for and you can clearly see why the formulas are amazing i love every single one of these every single one of them they have been so fun and the packaging is just so cute so this one is available right now on their website if you don't have this and you want this and you have the money to spend why not but i will say that they haven't announced that this won't come back again so they, it might so if you have other things you want more I understand that or maybe you already have colors that are similar to this and you don't feel like you need this at this point um this type of color story works great for this time of year okay the next one is also from mount nomad cosmetics now this one i'm going to just straight up say if you like this color story and you like nomad cosmetics and you don't have something similar to this I would say this is the one thing I'm gonna say maybe you should actually consider getting. And the reason for that is because not only is it a great a great formula, not only is it a cute packaging, which you'll see in a minute, and a great color story, it also is released right now, it is re-released right now for what is most likely the very last time. So if you do want this, I do suggest it. I do think it's a great palette. It, and if you aren't, initially drawn to it then stick with that that's fine stick with that never want to change you or make you spend money on things you don't need and you don't really want but if you are wanting this and you are needing this it's also got that shiftiness to it it is so cool i absolutely love this packaging this color story is great for this time of year like it's perfect for fall, but it's even more perfect for spooky season. You've got your oranges, you've got your gray, you've got some browns, you've got some greens, you've got some blues, you've got some pinky purples, and like, how is this not perfect? How? Like, this is the perfect color story, I feel like, for this time of year. And I feel like the formula is really, really good. Now, I will say this is a slightly older formula, and so a couple of the shades are a little drier than what we are used to seeing now from them. Um, but nothing has worked in a way that I didn't like. And it was very easy to work with still, even though it's not quite up to their current standards, it still is really good. So like I said, if you are looking for a new palette and this is a color story that calls to you, I highly recommend this. 
Um, and I also made a look with this in another video coming soon. So if you want to see that, it might be linked below. And if not, um, it will be in my channel. Okay, now for the one that I don't recommend you getting. I will say straight up, this just launched. At the time of filming this like a week ago, at the time this is coming out, probably like three weeks ago. Um, and I somehow managed to find it at my TJ Maxx. I have never seen something that launched that soon end up at my TJ Maxx before. And I ended up getting it. So it launched and I believe on their website it is for $15.99. So it's not an expensive product. But at TJ Maxx it was $9.99. So I was like, okay, I don't have to pay for shipping. I don't have to do anything. And the packaging looked really, really cute. And the color story looked really cute. So I went ahead and picked it up. This is with Beauty Creations. This is Tim Burton's Corpse Bride. First off, the packaging is perfect. I love it. Like that shifting look, it gets me every time. Like I absolutely love this. I feel like they did a great, great job on the packaging and it feels like good quality packaging. Like it, it just does. Um, it has a decent sized mirror inside. And then the color story, while not very initially like spooky season, it goes, I feel like with the movie. I feel like this is the perfect color story for that. Here's the thing. I don't like the formulas and I don't think it's an amazing quality. Unfortunately, like I made this look and I will give it 100% that it has the pigment. So the colors you see in the pan are 100% what went onto my eyes for my skin tone. I did have a um, eyeshadow base put on an eyeshadow primer. So keep that in mind. Um, but I do, I will say 100% that the colors you see in here are what I got on my eyes. The problem is nothing jumped out at me as great quality. Nothing jumped out at me as something that I want to really use. Um, the colors, yes. The formula, no. So all the mattes, have this strange texture to them, almost like like 90s kids play makeup, where it's like that dry, almost plastically feel to it. That's what all of the mattes feel like. The shimmers, so this shimmer right here, this green shimmer, is the softest one and actually feels fine and works fine. These two shimmers here are very dry very rough on the fingers. This blue here, which is what I have on my eyes, and it is a stunning blue. The consistency is so weird to me. I don't think I've ever tried one, something like this before. It's, I don't want to say wet because it doesn't feel wet. It feels like a gel almost, like a, like a pressed gel thing. And it's strange. It's very difficult to work with and it moves. So I have cleaned up my inner eye right here several times already since putting this look on and it's only been on for about an hour. And it's because the blue keeps moving down. I've never worked with a formula that does that before. So it's not a formula that I will ever want to reach for again, even though the color is gorgeous. So if they could keep these colors with this pigment working the way it does, but change the formulas, I could see this being an excellent, excellent palette. As it is, the formulas are not ones that I will reach for, even though the color story I think is really cute and the pigmentation is very, very nice. The highlighters, they give you, again, the color. Hopefully, I'm not sure if it's gonna pick up for you, but I've got it on me here. And it's really pretty. It is really, really pretty. It doesn't add extra texture look to my skin, which a lot of highlighters do. So I love that. Um, I have no issues with the highlighters. It's just the eyeshadows that I'm just like, I bought it for the eyeshadows and I ended up liking the highlighters. So I will say though, 
But this bottom highlighter especially, I mean they're all kind of messy, but this bottom one especially is very, very messy. So just keep that in mind. So if you are somebody who has used this brand before and maybe those all sound like just their normal uh, formulas and you enjoy it, then I do think that this is worth your money. But if you're somebody who likes like um, a Nomad Cosmetics for a little higher end, or if you're somebody who likes the like, ColourPop formulas for a little bit uh, more acceptable price points, um, I would say I don't think you're going to like this. I, I just don't. Now, this is my very first thing from this brand, so I can't say if all of their other stuff is the same formula. I don't have anything to compare it to. So if you have used other things and you've used this, let me know in the comments below if it's the same type of formulas that they use and what you think of them, of their other products. And what do you think of this if you bought this? Like I said, I personally do not recommend that palette, even though it is cute and it's got great pigmentation. I just don't think the formula is worth it, even for $9.99. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed this shorter video, and I hope you will stick around for all of my other content coming soon. Be sure to leave me a comment saying hello. Let me know how your month is going. Let me know if you're dressing up this year. I would love to catch up with you in the comments. And if you just really want to uh, get more from me, but you can't wait for the next video, well, there should be some videos popping up on your screen right about now or in just a few seconds, and I hope you'll go enjoy those as well. Have a wonderful rest of your day, and I'll see you very soon. Bye.